Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jim Gutierrez and I'm running for the position of external vice president. Uh, first I want to say uh, thank you so much for the opportunity to run for the nomination. Um, when I, I wasn't able to make it to the nomination meeting and so when I found out uh, that I was nominated, originally I wasn't planning on like running for anything, never thought about it, but when I found out that I got nominated it really sparked uh, something in me. I knew already that I had a passion for this club and uh, it started from like the moment I first joined. And so just, um, just hearing that I got nominated really made me think, how can I use that passion to help better the club? And I think after a lot of thought, I realized that being external vice president um, would not only help grow my passion, but would help me use it uh, for the club, for the betterment of the club. Um, when I first came to the club, the reason why I had such a strong passion for it is I kind of was here for a whole spring semester. I was a spring admin last year. And that was kind of a rough semester for me, coming here out of, um, without knowing anyone. Uh, it's, it's hard to assimilate. You don't get, I wasn't in the dorm, you don't get the USC experience at first. Um, but I was walking around with club recruitment day on, um, in the fall semester, and I saw pictures of Lumpia on a poster board. And I thought, whoa, that's for me. So I walked over. <laughs> I walked over. And uh, I started talking to Nico, I think it was. He invited me out to the welcome barbecue, and instantly I felt uh, kind of at home at the barbecue. Uh, everyone was super welcoming, and that's kind of the, the spirit of Troy Fi that I want to keep as external vice president. In being external vice president, you have a lot of opportunities to keep that spirit alive. Um, first of all, with facilitating general meetings. Um, if you look at the Constitution, that's the first thing there. And um, I think that general meetings are kind of like the backbone of the Troy Philippines experience. Uh, we only have about five or six during the semester, but it's a really great time to see everyone uh, when you get busy with school. And um, one thing as external vice president that I would try to keep in the atmosphere of our general meetings, which I believe we do well already, is um, we're able to balance uh, friendliness and socialness in a really light aura with um, sort of a business-like met like um, attitude that's usually not present at our other social events. Um, so I, I really appreciate that. I want to try to continue that, um, especially since we don't know who could walk through the door during our general meetings. Um, it could be someone who's experiencing Troy Fact for the first time that someone invited. And so I think uh, it's really important to um, not only be friendly, but give a, a really good first impression. Um, So yeah, general meetings um, for help facilitating them. I also think uh, ending them in a timely and orderly fashion would be good too, because I know it's Thursday night, people have things to do. Um, so I think that's important. Oh, and so yeah, general meetings, uh, along with club recruitment is really important, and that's something that I'm especially kind of excited about uh, should I be elected for EVP. Um, it's, I have a lot of good ideas for uh, starting out, or for putting in front of our I guess booth area during club recruitment week. Uh, like maybe perhaps having Troy Five voices perform. Um, I kind of have a hand in that as well, so it would be uh, a lot of fun. And also I think music's a great way to connect people and kind of draw people's attention. So that would be a lot of fun and a really good recruitment tool. Um, the, I also kind of want to stress the idea if I was EVP that recruitment isn't just a Wednesday in the beginning of the year. It's kind of uh, 24 7, 365. Not 24 7 because you have to sleep and eat, I guess. But, <laughs> and not 365 days because it's summer, and I guess you don't have to recruit as hard during summer. But, um, and just really stressing that inviting um, f just friends out to our social events, general meetings, I think that's important to the longevity of the club. And if we uh, invite members out, I don't think, um, I, I mean, being Filipino is important for this club. Don't get me wrong, but um, di diversifying the members would be really cool to like see, bring their experiences and their ideas to this club, and in turn help them grow their love for the Filipino culture. Like I'm, I know I'm, I'm half Filipino, but I did not know a lot about my culture uh, before coming here in Florida. It's kind of non-existent. Um, so, the what Troy Five was able to give me um, in recruiting me and experience with my culture. Uh, is what I hope to give to other members, Filipino or otherwise, um, which would be really cool. Uh, how many how many time? Ten seconds. Ten seconds, really? Wow. <laughs> Relations with sister schools. 
uh, is really important. <laughs> I've had uh, experience as an intern going to many external events, um, not so much this semester, um, but I really, uh, if I were elected to EVP, I would work very hard. I know I don't have a car, which might be a main concern, but um, being external vice president, should I be elected, would be one of my top priorities. So going to external events would also be a top priority, whether it be finding, working tirelessly to find a ride between any of you lovely people who own cars, or <laughs> calling an Uber, um, biking, whatever it takes. <laughs> I'll leave really early. But, uh, <laughs> You know, all of us are very, very busy, and we all have weekends when we're not with Troy Fi. So, how can you, as EVP, um, encourage more people in Troy Fi to go out to external events, such as NC Classic Collab? Um, I think it would be important, first of all, to, I think, explaining it in meetings. So I, don't, I don't think I knew what SC Classic Collab was as a, a general member. Um, so, maybe explaining it, talking about the importance of SC PASA in the presence of. Troy Philippines, um, and I mean obviously we can't force people to go, but making more rides available, uh, making it more attractive to go to, uh, possibly having a hangout event afterwards could be a good initiative, things like that. Name an external event you went to this year and um, why you, and you liked it or didn't like it. Um, probably my favorite was the talent show at Mount St. Mary's, uh, that was a lot of fun, it was really cool. I mean, Filipino talent shows are the greatest because there's just uh, so many talent, so much talent. But uh, I was also able to meet a lot of members backstage, talk to them, share experiences, and uh, forge some friendships. So that was uh, very cool. And I got to perform. I like to perform. Yeah, it's time to... uh, word has gone around that Troy Fi uh, has gained the reputation as a Filipino fraternity. <laughs> How would you address that? <coughs> um, I think the word fraternity has a very negative connotation nowadays with the, the culture of fraternity. And um, I think it's important to ex uh, express that we as Fortify are very, I think our cultural, the, the cultural experience we provide uh, kind of separates us from that. So I would explain that. Um, I would share my own personal experience, first of all, and the experience of many other uh, members of the club that I've heard. Um, but also with fraternity comes the idea of family or uh, brother and sisterhood. And I do want to say that I kind of do find Troy in that aspect to relate to a fraternity in that way. What is your overarching vision for Troy Philippines when you say if you see pictures? Um, to probably be so my overarching vision for Troy Fi, in regards to the external vice president position, I definitely would love to see a lot more externals from other orgs uh, come out to our events. That would be great. Um, also, uh, maybe a bigger presence on campus. Uh, really great. How I would implement that, uh, I'd have to think more. But just thing off the top of my head. Things like that. Christian? Um, so, within the past year, we've made a lot of progress right. um, externally with the sister schools. Are there any more professional relationships outside of the outside of the campus and outside of our club that you would want to bring to this club to enhance the experience? Um, so, I just found out about this actually recently, but clubs like um, Tau, they have sponsors that um, just, I guess, slap their logo on something, and then they sponsor that club. I think exploring that relationship would be really important, really helpful uh, for the club. I'm not exactly sure how yet, but I will find out right away if I were to be elected. Right. This semester you did a pretty good job balancing your Jesus with Sammy and also with um, and with Troy Fi. But as external vice president, you will have a significantly more duties with Troy Fi. How will you expect? How will you be able to balance both your fraternity and this club? Um, pledging is a very special thing as far as taking up your time in the semester. And once you're done with it, you kind of can choose your level of involvement uh, with the fraternity. So in the fall semester, I will no longer be pledging. Thank God. 
Um, <laughs> but um, I'm just honestly, as far my list of priorities will be my schoolwork and furthering my career in the music industry, and then Troy Fi, and then everything else, which includes fraternity socializing. Um, so I mean, it's it's really Troy Fi is going to be more important than fraternity. It's not really a question in my mind. One more question. Oh. <coughs> yeah. Okay. Um, what is one value that you think you gained in joining TroyFi that you either didn't have before or that was strengthened in joining this um, organization? Um, just one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I touched on this a little bit in my speech, but cultural experience for sure. Um, there were foods I didn't know existed. Uh, the level of hospitality, um, not, I didn't know it was as integrated in the culture. I mean, I knew, but you just, you really see it when you hang out with a bunch of Filipinos. All right, Joel.